Have you ever wondered how smart home devices like an Amazon Echo or Apple HomePod can control lights and appliances in your house using voice commands like this? On. Off. In this video, I'll give an overview of how you can build your own voice-activated lamp or other appliance using an Arduino. Let's start by talking about what exactly an Arduino is. An Arduino is a device that makes prototyping electronics projects controlled by a microcontroller very easy. A microcontroller is not really the same thing as a computer. It's not as powerful, and it only runs one program at a time. While you can buy various devices and add-ons to give the Arduino more functionality, in this project you won't be building something that can connect to the internet to do a Google search or play music like you could with a real smart speaker. Its functionality will be limited to using voice commands to control an appliance. An Arduino lets you connect inputs and outputs. The inputs can be sensors, things that measure or detect things in the physical environment around the Arduino. The outputs are things that interact with that environment, like lights, speakers, or motors. This is why you might sometimes hear working with an Arduino referred to as physical computing. One of the simple examples you might see when starting to work with an Arduino is controlling an LED with a button. The button is the input, and the LED is the output. When I press the button, it toggles the LED on and off. In this project, we will extend this same basic input-output concept, except the input will be a microphone that detects your voice, and the output will be a signal that controls a higher power appliance that plugs into a wall outlet instead of a tiny LED that can be powered directly by the Arduino. To do this, you will need a voice recognition module for the Arduino. There are a variety of third-party modules available with different features. For example, they vary in the number of commands you can store, whether they come preloaded with certain commands, and whether you can train new commands. We have tutorials for two of these, the Grove Speech Recognizer v1.0 and the Elekhouse Voice Recognition Module v3.1, linked in the description below this video. I won't repeat all of that information in this video, but those tutorials show you how to set these up, connect them to your Arduino, and get the software running. However, these are just two examples. There are plenty of other speech recognition modules available for the Arduino, so you can shop around to find one with the features that you want. You also need some additional hardware if you want to control an appliance that plugs into a wall outlet with your Arduino. The Arduino operates at 5 volts DC or direct current. That's enough to power a tiny LED, but it's not enough to power something that plugs into a wall outlet. In the US, these appliances run at 120 volts AC or alternating current. That voltage may be different depending on what country you're in. So, you can't simply plug these wires directly into your Arduino because the Arduino cannot provide enough power to power the appliance, and it's dangerous to work directly with high voltage wires unless you're a professional electrician. That's where a device like this comes in, the IoT Relay. IoT stands for Internet of Things. It looks like a surge protector that has regular outlets that you can plug your high voltage appliances into, but it also has a connector on the side for a low voltage control signal from a microcontroller. You can plug that in here and then connect jumper wires that you can use to connect to the digital I.O. pins of your Arduino, therefore using the low voltage control signal from your Arduino to switch these outlets to control your high voltage appliance. Again, we have a separate tutorial video for this device linked in the description of this one. Once you've connected the speech recognition module and the relay, you have your input and your output that you can use to control an appliance. On, off. Now, note that these speech recognition modules are doing all the processing locally, and they typically have cheaper microphones, so this isn't as powerful as a real smart speaker that has a nice omnidirectional array of multiple microphones and is connected to a cloud speech-to-text service from a company like Google or Amazon that will do a much better job with things like filtering out background noise, recognizing different speakers, or recognizing command words spoken from different distances. In general, you will need to be pretty close to these, and they might not perform as well in a noisy environment. However, this still allows you to build your own voice-activated device and understand the principles of how these devices work for a science project. For written instructions for this project, and the specific tutorial videos for the different pieces of hardware, check out the description of this video. For thousands of other fun hands-on science and engineering projects, 
visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.